So to do the trick, you first have to memorize the cubes of each number from 1 to 10. The cube of a number is the number multiplied by itself three times. So the cube of 1 is still 1, the cube of 2 is 8, the cube of 3 is 27, and I'm going to keep writing the cubes of each number. So you may know some of these, otherwise to do this trick you'll have to memorize these 10 numbers. Now once we've written down these cubes, I want you to focus on the very last digit of the number, of the cube. So what's important is that each of these 10 numbers end in a different last digit. And that'll be very important to doing this trick. So this will be another thing you have to memorize. When you memorize these 10 digits, you should also remember the last digit. So an easy way to remember this is that for the numbers 1, 4, 5, 6, 9, and 0, the last digit is the same as the numbers. And for the numbers 2 and 8 and 3 and 7, the last digit flips. So the last digit for 2 is 8 and the last digit for 3 is 7 and vice versa. So let's do the trick. What's the cube root of 39,304? The first thing I want you to do is look at the last digit. The last digit of 39,304 is 4, which we're going to put in a box. So we look up 4 in the last digit and that corresponds to the number 4. So we write down the number 4. The next step is we ignore the last three digits of our number. So in 39,304, we're going to just ignore the 304. And now we want to find the closest cube without going over. So 39 is between 27 and 64. So it's actually closest to 27 without going over which means it's closest to the cube of 3. And that gives us the other part of our answer, which is 3. So here we have it. We put the numbers together, and 34 is the cube root of 39,304. So why would this ever be useful? So here's a trick you can do. Ask someone to pick a number from 1 to 100, and just think about it secretly. Don't have them tell you the number. Have them cube the number on a calculator. And ha once they cube the number, they tell you the cube, and you instantly can tell them the cube root by using this table and using the trick. So let's imagine they tell you the number is 636,056. So we look at the last digit, which is 6, and when the last digit is 6, that corresponds to the number 6. And then we look at the, we ignore the last three digits and we look at 636. That's between the cubes of 8 and 9, so we put 8. And therefore, the cube root is 86. So once you get used, once you memorize this table, it'll, you'll actually be able to do this very quickly. Let's do another example. 185,193. We look at the last digit of 3. That corresponds to the number 7, because 3 and 7 flip. Then we ignore the last three digits, and we look at 185, and that's closest to the cube of 5 without going over. So that gives us the answer of 57. So it's a pretty neat trick. And if you want to know how this